Let's see what the computer's doing today. Yes, I have this Dell laptop, which this is a what is the computer doing episode. So what is it doing? Well, look at that icon. I think we know what that is, right? Let's see. Oh, it looks like updates are being installed. So yes, it is initializing the installation. It's been doing this for about 10 or 15 minutes, guys. It's been initializing this for 10 or 15 minutes. I don't know why it's taking so long, but it's really ridiculous right now. So I thought I'd make a what is a computer doing because I don't know what it's doing. Well, actually, I do know what it's doing. It's initializing the install. But why is it doing it for 10 or 15 minutes? That's the hard drive light right there, the one in the middle next to the power light. Um, it, it's doing something. You can see it keeps blinking constantly. So doing this for 10 minutes. I don't know what it's doing, but I think it's doing updates in the background. Well, it's, it's been saying it's downloading 17% for like an hour and it's not done anything, but I'm actually installing an update that supposedly makes it to where you have less updates on Windows Update because it includes all the previous updates. And I don't mean the service pack. I mean, Microsoft released a recent update to be able to not have 200 updates after you do the service pack one in Windows 7. So, yeah, guys, that's what the computer's doing. It's initializing this install, which has been initializing this install for like 10 minutes. And this is the update I'm using, if you're wondering. The one that's highlighted there, that's the update I'm trying to install. And it's a good update to install right after you do Service Pack 1. So I recommend you guys do that update right after, which you can't get it from Windows Update. You have to download it from the Microsoft Update Catalog, which if you look up the KB, they'll give you a link to it and take you straight there to where you could download it. However, I had to run Internet Explorer as an administrator in order for it to actually install the add-on for the update catalog because it kept failing so that's i'm gonna make a video on this very soon about this update and i'm gonna do it on a virtual machine so guys that's what the computer's doing installing that update which has been initializing for 10 or 15 minutes now it's been 15 minutes this thing better hurry up like seriously why does an update take this long to initialize what the heck does it even do initializing like does it like extract it or something because I don't know what the heck this thing is doing. Let me see. Let's go to Stinking Task Manager right now. This is frustrating me. I don't know why it's taking so long. There's obviously a problem. Okay, yeah, trusted installer is using a lot. Um, what's using the most CPU? Trusted installer. Well, what is trusted installer doing right now? These are all the processes. What is Trusted Installer doing? I don't know. These are all the processes. So, Trusted Installer is using the most of everything. For the most part. But I might look up some of these other processes. If I move this up. We yeah, have Windows Updates on there. I think Windows Update is messing with it. But yeah, that's what the computer's doing. All you know in the description of this video how long it took to initialize, which... I'll let you know because I'm going to let it run. So anyways, thanks for watching. That's what the computer's doing. I don't know why it's taking so long. I think because Windows Update is interfering with it. But yeah, that's what it's doing. So thanks for watching. And bye-bye for now. And let me know if I should do more of these little episodes. I used to do a bunch of these last year. A bunch of them. So I haven't done one in quite a while. So that's why I'm doing one. All right, guys. Bye-bye for now. Oh, wait. It's installing now. Okay, so it's 3.42, and I have a screenshot when I started. It was like 3.25, so that means it took about 20 minutes almost. So I'll leave the exact minutes in the description. All right, thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now.